Okay, that's just health down here. There we go. Yeah, this whole level feels like it was definitely made to be played as Jaime. Can't believe that missed. Here comes the big laser. There we go. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, Booster, please help. all these complexes are built like a video game uh, think about it i mean we're walking down a hallway oh there's a door but you got to hit those three switches to open it dead end guess we have to backtrack oh look a new passage opened up now we just hi may yeah this is not a video game now please try to stay focused and keep the chatter to a minimum focus minimum chat press the b button got it press the b button got it god damn it Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect the meta commentary to be from fucking Jaime. Although maybe considering how his new 52 run ended, maybe I should have. thing. That one could be either. Huh, weird. Yeah, I'm pretty off. Yeah, I give up. All right. God, I hate those things. Which I guess, uh, maybe the, uh, shakers would actually probably be better for dealing with those things. Oh, sweet. It's okay, I'll, I'll come back in a second.
Okay, not as well as I had hoped. If Grodd finds the central core before we do, what's plan B? Finding the central core is plan B. So what if we can't? Don't think like that, Jaime. A hero has to stay optimistic. You can't just hope for the best outcome. You have to believe you can actually accomplish it. I could be optimistic. Um, the next time I see Grodd, I'm gonna drop a robot on him. See? Totally optimistic. Good. <laughs> Good. Oh, real. I've been bamboozled! Closer we're getting to the end. Arkham's going to be busy tonight. Oh, yeah. I should really keep count of like how many levels there are in each part, just so I can kind of guess. I think maybe it's a six act structure, not counting the cold open. I'm not sure about that. Welcome to the gadgets rack, Batman. Would you like to purchase this gadget? Oh my god, yes. This gadget has now been purchased. Alright, use the laser sword. Equip Z to attack with it. Holding Z starts a more powerful swing. Lunges forward. Nice. Oh! Okay, so that pack thing is an item I haven't got yet. And so is the other one. Okay. So definitely it expects you to kind of like go through it replaying it. I also just noticed Jaime has the most gadgets out of all of the uh, ally heroes. Interesting. Okay, I just played as Jaime. I was like, <laughs> like, who am I playing as now? Cover those ears, boys. Things are about to get loud. I think maybe this might be the last the regular level. Be a few hundred meters ahead. We'll have to get past these electrical fields to reach it, and it will probably be well guarded. You know, we could have just called Robobot in here to get it for us. Protobot. Yeah, him. Robots probably love electrical fields, but it's like cheese puffs to them. All we get is a charred butt. Quit complaining, hero. We're almost there. There we go. It's like, come on. All right, sword, go. All right, sort of, uh, hmm, not as well as I thought it would be. I'm guessing maybe against a better enemy type, it would be better. Hey, no fair. If this place is so old, why does everything look so advanced? I've been wondering that since the last time I came here. The original Blue Beetle was way ahead of his time. He dreamt of technology that no one else would come up with for decades. Several of my gadgets are based on his designs. Cool. Of course, his greatest contributions to the world were the crimes he helped prevent. There are hundreds of people out there today living better lives because of Ted. Pretty big shoes to fill. Definitely. How would you, uh, say I'm doing so far? Ask me after we stop, Rod. Right. The mission. Got it. I do kind of like this, uh... God, it's really gonna bother me. I can't... Maybe Ted Cord was the... No, wait a minute. Hold on. I think I'm getting my Blue Beetles mixed up. No, because it was... It was Ted Cord. And, uh, who's the one before him? Ted Core was definitely the, uh, the second one, followed by Jaime. Who was the one that came before him? Because I think Ted's the one who got a bullet to the head. God, I cannot remember. 
My only real knowledge of Blue Beetle is from Linkara, a comic reviewer's, uh, uh, what is it? He did a retrospective on all the Blue Beetles. And I think it was like, Ted Cord was definitely in there. His predecessor was there. And then like Jaime and then Jaime's run in the new 52, which uh, led to uh, questionable outcomes. It's really gonna bother me that I can't think of that other beetle, though. Halt! Intruders! You do not have clearance. I think they found us. Please remain still until you are escorted away. All hail Grodd. I may. Yeah. You know those pistons you mentioned earlier? I call them Los Perros Grandes. Get ready to use them. On three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> <laughs> Already on it. Those ears, boys. Things are about to get loud. It's been real, boys. Wow. Well, I'm glad the game just lagged all the hell during all that. Oh shit, damn. There we go. God, I seriously hate those things. Oh, fuck. There we go. Ah. Nothing like good cape defense to save the day. Yeah, I think I found the doohickey. Finally. Let's crack this thing open and get out of here. I feel like a rat in a maze. I need to use Ted's gadget to remove its defenses. One moment. That should do it. Ooh, shiny. Thanks for the gift, Batman. Oh, you fat son of a bitch. Uh, come. If this device does what you say it can, then it's worth more than this barren island. Assuming you can get out of this room with it. Pretty safe assumption. Oh god, he's gonna summon Protobot to kill us. Another area made safe from crime. Man, we died a lot that level. Jesus. Ready, little guy? <laughs> I meant to scare him. Not you, Batman. Outrageous! Man, kind of surprised we're still got more levels to go, I guess. I don't know, like I said, I definitely need to like review the footage and see how just how many levels there are in each section. See if there's like a structure to it. But I definitely think this is maybe the last section before the boss. Grab on. We can't let Grodd get away. Hello! Do you not see the giant wings sticking out of my back? This is faster. Fine. <laughs> Fine. This is like surfing. Oh, I could get into this. Don't let him get away. That device will allow Grodd to control any electrical device in the world, not just the ones on this island. I wasn't planning on it. Oh, you have to admit, though, this totally seems like a level in some video game. Oh, that he's still on this. Oh, 
Hey, Aquaman, how did you summon the ocean in the air? Ah, oh, you're right. It didn't matter. Doesn't seem like we're gaining on him. We are. Just try to keep balanced and take out any gorillas that come your way. Take them out? I hardly know them. <laughs> no, yeah, I'll take care of them. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll take care of them. Oh, great. Okay, that's not going to do me any favors here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, about that. Oh, God. So many enemies. version of the hero like Lex Luthor and Superman brains versus brawn or you and the Joker I mean he is so funny and you're um I'm what? you're totally awesome <laughs> you're totally awesome good save there Jaime I will say that this in-air combat does make doing combos and stuff really weird because I'm constantly trying to just move down and I keep doing like the ducking animation Hi, Grod. I swear we passed that rock before. And that one. And that one. And that one. You think Grod would ever hire human thugs? Or is he like stuck giving the work to apes? They don't seem very good. They don't even wear pants. Well, generally Grod hates all humans. He's probably jealous that we're potty trained. <laughs> ah, yes. That's the reason. What's the deal with Grod's helmet? It boosts his mind control abilities. What? I didn't know he could read minds. Relax. I've got an electronic blocker in my ear, and your scarab blocks you. Unless Brad has been using his mind control helmet to make you chatter about random nonsense this whole mission. Nope, that's pretty much all me. I don't think that's something you should be celebrating, Jaime. Oh, thank you, God. There we go. Anything? There's that rock again. Oh man. I feel like we've been chasing him for ages. It's been about five minutes. Yeah, but in superhero time, that's like days. That's like days. God damn it, I mate. Surprised that thing can support him. I'm guessing Grod doesn't do cardio. See? See right there, right there. That's the exact same rock. We must be going in circles or something. Stop looking at the rocks. You ever notice how funny the word grad sound? Grad. Grad. God. Like the alphabet or something. I don't know if it was intentional. But I don't remember Jaime being this bad in the series. He is definitely coming off as kind of like a not as obnoxious uh, Deadpool. To a certain extent. wrap this up so I can get home and catch up on my video games. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Chalk one up for the blue guys. 
All right, and I'm hoping this is the boss fight with Grodd. Beware. Yep. No jumping hero, definitely boss. Question, I guess, remains: How do I? How are we gonna fight him? I really hope we don't have to stay on these scarabs to fight him. We've got you now, you big dumb monkey. There's nowhere to run, Grod. Hand over the device. Batman, you returned. Frodo is happy. Protobot, stay back. What an amazing piece of technology, Batman. Mind if I take him for a spin? Not good, right? Yeah, I figured this was gonna happen. Really not good. Frodo, sorry, Batman. Sorry, he must kill you. Mmm, goody. Damn it. God fucking damn it. Okay. Now, uh, let's see how we're supposed to do this. Actually, if I was a betting man... Ow. That's someone else's catchphrase, not yours! Okay, so it is just a matter of... Okay. Alright, this boss fight might actually not be too hard. It is entertaining watching Grodd control Proto with, like, a joystick, though. Bye, Proto. Is that really it? Oh my god, that is actually it. I hope you learned a lesson about bragging, Blue Beetle. Believe me, I did. Next supervillain I fight, I'm keeping my mouth shut. But what about Grodd? He knows about this island now. He'll try this again. What's going on? Where am I? How did I get here? Well, that's convenient. <laughs> that is convenient. Take this monkey back to his cage in Blackgate. I like that. I like that in Blackgate is not included in the subtitles. Also, like it just seems really convenient that Grodd loses his memory or becomes like back to like ape status intelligence almost seemingly on a regular basis after every time he's defeated. All right. Um, but that is uh. That is definitely it for now. So, yeah. We've cleared off another level of that. So, hey, look, Blue Beetle is there now. That's cool. All right, well, that's going to be it for now, guys. So, until next time, I will catch you all later. Asta. You know what that means? It's back to the DS. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.